everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over my full Daredevil cosplay. I announced this cosplay at the beginning of the year as one that I would be doing. I've had a couple videos going over uh, everything we're going to do with it and the process with it. Now it's finally done, uh, as done as it's going to be for right now. I don't know if I might change something in the future at some point, but as of right now this is what it is and I'm very happy with it. So first thing first, I've already done a close-up look at the suit itself. The only thing I've changed to the suit is that the emblem is now black instead of the uh, weird red that it was so that it's more noticeable. And I will show you how I did that in just a minute. Uh, other than that, if you want to check out the details for the main suit, you can do so with the video wherever it is up here after you watch this one, of course. Um, but other than that, we have the Daredevil gloves from Netflix's season two Daredevil. These are from whitesheepleather.com, same place that the suit came from. These gloves are super nice, right? They've got these two Velcro latches, straps, not latches. They fit perfectly for the size I got. I don't remember which size I got, but they fit. Do this, and when they're on your, uh, with the suit, they fit fine, and I'll show you the whole suit on, don't worry. I just wanna go over it piece by piece. They've got all the detail. All the detail in there, look at that. The hand is super flexible, I can still do a lot of stuff. They have the knuckles, which are hard, solid plastic, it's great. Other than that, we have the balaclava, which also came from white sheep leather, the same as the gloves in the suit. The balaclava right here, which I can now use for my bat suits as well, so everyone can shut up about my neck. I finally got one, and we're good. And it's super comfy, fits perfectly as well. Just slips right on. Just like so, just tuck my hair in, and we're good. Yeah, look at that, perfect. Now you'll never see my neck again. Don't worry, it's over. After that, we have the, uh, the <laughs> we have the Billy Clubs, which I showed off, and this holster that I got from a guy on Facebook, um, but he sold this holster. He also sells aluminum uh, billy clubs that attach and everything. I just wanted to make my own. That's why I didn't get them from him. And it came with the leg straps and everything. I've also got this belt that I got from um, Lowe's for like five bucks. That I've got some pouches that I've made that are slide on. The pouches are perfectly sized for like credit cards and stuff, just for cons. So that's what that's for. Other than that, we have the helmet. Really love this helmet. This helmet file came from do3d.com where I get a lot of my stuff. Look at this. Look at the beauty of it. It looks great. Right now the chin attaches with magnets and the back can attach with magnets, but what I've done is I've done Velcro. Or not Velcro. I've done um, elastic bands so I can just pop it on and off. So I made a little oopsie when making this. I sized this so it would fit my head and it fits my head perfectly, but and I tried to I tried to do this when I was printing it. With the balaclava on, the back does not come all the way back to the front plate. So the ears right here are a little further back and you can see some balaclava between it. I thought I had sized it correctly to fit over both. Apparently I didn't, but it's still really nice. I still really love it. I'll throw it on real fast. So just slide the chin off like that. All right, take it and Pop it on like so. You can see what I'm talking about here. The ear is just a little too, little too far with the balaclava on. It doesn't do that when the balaclava's not on. And you take this and pop. Bam. Look at that. Look at that. This looks great. I love this. I love it. And it looks great with the whole suit, and we're going to get to that, don't worry. And then we'll go over um, how I did the, the emblem, how I painted the emblem black, and then we'll go to the full suit reveal. So let's get to that. So to start things off, we're going to be using this in black uh, leather paint from Angelus. Uh, I got this recommended to me from somebody on Facebook when I asked uh, what would be used for leather, along with these paintbrushes from the same company. So we're going to use that for the 
emblem that is a faux leather, I believe, or real leather. I don't, I'm not entirely sure. But I've gone ahead and taped up around it just to make sure that it's going to be, you know, clean, that I'm not going to get any black on the suit itself. I don't think I will, but just as a precautionary measure, it's better to be safe than sorry. So I went ahead and taped it up. So we're going to be using the six flat here, which is just the smallest one uh, without any deviations to the top, just to make it as easy as I possibly can to make sure I stay on the emblem itself. Because even though I have it taped up, just want to be safe. So... I'm gonna dip it in. We're gonna get rid of a little bit of this. Uh, we're gonna just dab it onto a couple spots since we have a lot of excess on the brush right now and rub off the rest of the excess that we don't need for now and then go ahead and spread those little dabs out as much as we can. And we're gonna give it at least two layers here, but as you can see, it's already looking much better than it uh, does with the red. The red, I'm not sure why they do red. I believe I said this in my review of this suit, but I believe I could have asked them to make it black instead of this weird beige red uh, that they have it as. I just didn't think to do that at the time until after I'd already ordered it and it was already being made. So I didn't bother and I figured I would just fix it on my own, which is why we're doing this. So if you don't wanna do this process, if you want this suit and you just want it black to begin with, you should ask, they, should, they probably will do it. I can't guarantee anything. But I don't see why they wouldn't just change out the color of the leather for the emblem. But yeah, we're just going to be very careful here getting into all the uh, corners and everything just to make sure we don't get any off to the, uh, off on the paint as best we can. Off on the tape, sorry. But yeah, okay, that's pretty much it. So we'll just speed up through the rest of this process and I'll see you guys the next part. So there you go, it's done and painted. It looks really good with the rest of the black. And it does say to give it about uh, about 24 hours or so before you go and stretch it out and wear it and everything. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let it sit for a day or so uh, before we put it on and everything, just to make sure that the thing doesn't get damaged. So here we are. All right, here we go with the full suit on. How does it look? I think it looks great. Look at this, look at this. Looks. Awesome. I don't have the pouch on right now because I forgot it, so it's going to be back here whenever I do have it on, you know, so that I can um, have my credit cards and stuff in here at cons. But yeah, it looks great. I love the padded little shoulder look to it, the padded elbows, the, uh, the symbol now that it's black looks especially good. Plus look at it with the helmet. The red for the helmet I got really good, really close. This is uh, what it is, it's a Merlot. And then I took a uh, matte clear coat to kind of damper it down because I couldn't find any of it not in gloss. So yeah, it, it, was, it was all gloss. So it's got a little bit of a shine to it, unfortunately. But the matte clear coat did help out a lot. So that, that was good. But yeah, what do you think? I got plenty of flexibility with this thing too. It looks great. I'll have some pictures up that I'm a full shot that you can see me in with, but I love this thing. This thing's great. I am, yeah. This is probably one of my favorite cosplays right now. And I don't have lenses in this, by the way. It just makes my eyes look black because of uh, the way that the, uh, the slots for the eyes are. So unless you get like really close to me, you can't see my eyes. So it works fine like that. You don't have to worry about that at all. But yeah, it, I love it. Absolutely love it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, Cause it, it's great in my opinion. So I will see you guys in the next one. I have another video coming out that I think you guys are gonna like. And the next cosplay I'm gonna be doing later on in the year from start to finish is gonna be the Mandalorian. That's gonna be a lot of 3D printing. Uh, a lot of sanding, a lot of putting together myself. So, yeah, Dinger in. You know, that's gonna be fun. So if you want to, so if you want to see that when that gets started and see that as it goes on, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell down below so that you can get keep up to date on all the videos I have coming out because I do have a lot coming out. 
I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Goodbye.